Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Machakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Greetings and salutations to you, Akim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior. Yahweh Shai, Mashia. In truth and sincerity. Yahweh in the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai in the name of the only begotten Son. O Chakotash in the Holy Spirit. Yahweh meaning He exists. Yahweh Shai meaning He delivers. O Chakotash being, <clears throat> as, as I said before, the Holy Spirit. Or directly translated to Spirit Holy. This is Isaiah, the 34th chapter. In verse 16, it says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh. What is the book of Yahweh? The Holy Bible, including the Old Testament in its entirety, the Apocrypha in its entirety, and the New Testament in its entirety. You know? And yes, we can substantiate the book of Hebrews, and no, there isn't any contradictions. And no, the Heavenly Father got it right and you got it wrong. And so, but we're supposed to seek out of the book of Yahweh and consider and keep in mind that Yahweh Shai himself said, he said, behold, remember, all right, he said, seek ye, but Yahweh Shai said, behold. And so if you seek ye, you will behold that he comes in the volume of the book, it is written of him is written of me, he said. It says, and read. And now when you go to the book of Revelation, it said, Blessed is he whom read of that reads. And when you go into the term read, your revelation is going into blessed is he that understand. But yes, everybody who, a lot of people read the Bible. Do they understand it? No. They don't understand the prophecies. Yeah, I see. They read the book of Revelations. They read um, Revelation 13, chapter 15, 16, verse. Do they understand it? Absolutely not. No way, Jose. Until you can tell me how you can buy and sell with sin. Until you can tell me what is the number of the beast and what is the no uh, and indeed what is the um the image all of that has to be explained before you can claim yourself to be a prophet and it's been asked and it's been answered by millstone but um it says no one of these shall fail none of the prophecies are going to fail it says, none shall want her mate. There's no need of... Pardon me. There's no need to put some salt and pepper on it. There's no need to incorporate or have other books to substantiate. No, nah, uh-uh. To validate. No, absolutely not. It's already, it's already perfect. It's already perfect. And do you have to go into the Hebrew to understand it for a perfect understanding? Yes. Do you have to go into the Greek uh, to have a, a more perfect understanding of what the scripture is saying and what is being emphasized? Yes. Can you just read the Bible in English or whatever perspective language that you're coming from, whether it be Spanish or French, and get a, and get a complete, full, 100% understanding? No. why the scripture said blessed is he that read it says for my mouth it hath commanded so the mouth of the Lord has commanded these words not man not somebody you know some random individual no the, the, the mouth of the Lord of Yahweh Shai. 
it had commanded. It says, in his spirit it had gathered them. In whose spirit? Well, the spirit of Yahweh Shai. That would be the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Let's get um John. What was that that I just wanted? I know I wanted John. It was just something else that came to my mind. Anyway, let me just go to John. Yep. All right, but let's go to John. All right, and let's go to the sixth verse. This is all kind of on my off my head, but I have the precept situated for um, edification. Anyway, this is John chapter six, verse sixty-three. It is the spirit that quickeneth. And we just read about the spirit in the previous verse. But the scripture says, it is, this, and this is Yahweh Shah. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. Now, the term quickeneth meaning to revive, or revitalize, or, uh, refurbish. Um, quickeneth in the Greek is zopoio, zopoio, um, zopoio. And the context in which it was written is Zopo, Zopoon, 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 derived from Zopoel. What the, what the heck just happened? It's like, it. I'm, I'm trying to go to the Greek definition of Zopoel. Quick enough. To produce alive, beget, to bear, live, young, to cause, to live, make alive, give life. See? So Pael. Because the term Zoe means life in the Greek. Individuals remember that show Zoe one on one. Used to come on all right years back. We was saying essentially was saying life one on one. That's a way for me to remember that Greek term life Zoe. You know? Life one on one is what they said. But, um, let's see, poel. What does poel mean? To make, yeah, like, po, like that's where you get the Spanish, poner. But po, poel, to make, with the names of things made to produce, to make alive, essentially, what it's saying. Zoeo, no, zo, zo, po, zo, 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 zo poel. So essentially, to make alive. All right, let's go back to the um, scripture. It says, the spirit that quick enough that make up alive. It says, the flesh profit of nothing. So your actual flesh, your your physical physique, and your and it, it profit of little. The scripture speaks about the, you know, exercise. But really, when it's going, really in all actuality, in the scripture, when it says the flesh profit of nothing, meaning sin. The flesh is sin and prioritizes your own will rather than the will of the Heavenly Father. That's sin, that's transgression of the law, all of that is it doesn't profit anything. It's, the scripture says profit of nothing. You know? And in continuation, it says, The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So the words you know, in the scriptures said in his spirit in mouth, he said the Lord's mouth had commanded. All right, which we just read in the previous verse, said the Lord's mouth has commanded. All right, and his spirit have gathered them. All right, it said the spirit have gathered them, but what do we just read right here? It says the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And the words of Yahweh Shah. And we're going to wrap it up with Zephaniah. Mm -hmm. Pardon me. This is Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together 
Oh, nation not desire. But, okay, how are we going to gather together, though? We have to gather together by the word. The spirit of Yah by Shemel Shai, not by... Not by our own hand. Because remember what John said. It said the flesh profited nothing. So we can't gather together with infidels. We can't gather together with people who don't believe or hate us or our God. You know, our hypocrites. And don't teach the same thing that we teach. It has to be of one spirit and one doctrine. So it says, gather together, O nation, not desire, which is us, the Israelites, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It says, before the decree bring forth, before the days pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahweh will come upon you, before the day of Yahweh's anger come upon you. And we don't want that. That's the last thing we want. That's, oh my goodness, that's, I can't explain how bad that is. The fierce anger of the Heavenly Father coming upon you, that's literally the worst nightmare that anybody ever had. It's verse 3, it says, Seek ye Yahweh, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, which is humility, it says, it may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahweh's anger. And that's what we're fighting to be hid in the day of his anger. You know, the scripture says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. You know, the heavenly father, through his, through his only begotten son, he is the one who grants us access into the, uh, or, well, essentially, Yahweh Shai, to make it make sense. Yahweh Shai is he who, he is who is the one who grants us the access to have mercy and find mercy and have life. And that can never be forgotten. But never, never can that be forgotten. All right? And so we have to cherish it. And we have to take advantage of what we have. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash, double honor to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, and salutations to you, I can show them, keep and keep the faith. Shalom.